Welcome back to Everything Money. In this video, you will learn about the defense contractor Lockheed Martin. We'll look at their stock and show you how we analyze a company using our eight pillar system. We'll show you our software, look at the financials and help you make better investing decisions in companies like Lockheed Martin by looking at the numbers. We'll show them all to you. If you want to trade Lockheed Martin, we'll go over to Mo. He'll show you all the charts and trends about trading this at a quicker pace. We'll develop what we think is a good price to pay for Lockheed Martin stock using our stock analyzer tool. You can get all these tools moving forward. We'll tell you how. But first, why should you watch this video? I bring your questions about Lockheed Martin to Paul and Mo, a couple guys own and operate over $100 million in real estates, multiple business, real estates, multiple businesses, in stocks and they'll give us a mindset about how to invest in companies like this. Paul, what do you think about this, friend? Thank you. <laughs> Everyone follow us on our new Instagram account, Everything Money Investing. And then also follow us three personally, Seth, Mo, and I, individual accounts. We should actually make a joint account with just us, uh, Seth, Mo, and Paul. Just pictures of us just like, you know, in bathtubs together and... Yes. That sounds sexy. <laughs> Anything that has to do with a bathtub, Seth is in. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't true. matter what event is going on in the tub. I'll take three three baths a day sometimes, Paul. Um, if I have a day where I'm like work is done, I'm feeling great. I have never taken a bath in my entire life. Oh, it's well, wonderful. With the exception of like my mom bathing me when I was like a infant. Your mom still bathes me. That's awkward. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do Martin. Lockheed Martin, unlike the uh, Lockheed Martian <laughs> that, that Tim put on. Uh, was it you? That was Xavier. Xavier put Lockheed Martian oh, what a little on my list of companies to, uh, that oh, we're yeah. going to report today. Thank Look you very that. much, uh, Xavier. You're fired. So this company makes the bombs, makes the jets. Uh, and you're a jet. You're a jet. Okay, so exclusive Everything Money software. We're going to go to the Eight Pillars tool. Let's make this 150%. Lockheed. Martian. Martian. You know that's never going to die ever, right? We're just always going to call now. Lockheed Martian. Yeah. All right, let's see. Why? We, oh, wow! Look at that chart. Yeah. So it went from three seventy six to three twenty five in a matter of uh, like two days. It hit a peak. Let's see where its peak is. Right before COVID, four thirty nine. Now it's three thirty one. Got as low as. 276. Okay. We, we want to show you the financials, folks, because Paul, I'm surprised you've been looking at this the stock price first because I get I get messages like, hey, you well, should buy this stock because it's at $28. And I, I want people to think about the idea of a market cap, you know, like buying the company as a whole. Describe that. Well, I only looked at it there because I knew it dropped a lot. And yes. one of the ways in which to find good value plays is to find the companies that have dropped a lot very quickly because it tends to be an overreaction to something. That's right. So what our goal would be to look at the company and say, okay, is it a reasonable price at this level after this big drop? So it's a $92 billion company. Pillar number one, we want our five-year PE to be under 22.5. It is 18.2. Check mark. Pillar number two, we want the five-year return on invested capital above 9%. It is 12.9%. Another check mark. Two check marks so far. Now, one thing to note, they have a nice dividend of 3.2% that pays out almost $3 billion a year. You want to compare that payout to their free cash flow. So you go two levels above in our exclusive software. They have an average five-year free cash flow of $4.75 billion and last year of $5 billion. So 2.9 is a big chunk of that money. That's a lot. That's a lot. So I think that you'll see if this company drops further. Let's say they dropped in half from today and the dividend became 6.4%. I bet you they'd probably cut that dividend back a little bit just yeah. to save maybe. Or maybe they keep it going, hey, we have a huge dividend. Come by us. So. Pillar number three, revenue growth of the last five years. So we go to the income statement on our exclusive software. Five years ago, $49.9 billion. Last year, $66 billion. Check mark. Now keep in mind, guys, look at 2012, $47 billion. Look at 2017, $49.9 billion. Not much growth there. So guys, these growth, this growth is going to just don't assume growth continues on forever. Pillar number four. Net income growth. We want net income growth of the last five years. We scroll down a little bit, 3.57 to 6 billion. That's a check mark there. But again, look at the previous years, 2.86, 3, 3.8. It was very stagnant. All right. Pillar number five. We want shares outstanding decreasing. Why is that? If they're decreasing the shares outstanding, your share count stays the same. If you own 100 shares, it's still going to be 100 shares, but now you own 100 shares out of a lower share count. That means you own a bigger percentage of the company. If they're issuing shares, you now own less of the company because they've issued more shares. So they're diluting you. We want their share count staying the same or going lower. So we scroll to the very bottom of the income statement. 
287 million shares outstanding to 276. Check mark there. Nice buybacks. Yeah, not much, but they're still there. Pillar number six involves their debt. Tell me about it, Paul. So, guys, debt is just like your personal life in a, co in a company. is just like your personal life. The more debt you have, if hard times hit, you're more likely to go under. So we want to find companies with reasonable amounts of debt. So we go to our main page of our exclusive software. We go to the five-year average free cash flow. We multiply that by five. So 4.75 times five is $24 billion roughly. I'm not right on the number. No, not even close. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So 24 billion, we want their long-term liabilities to be under $24 billion. So we scroll up to the top. We go to the balance sheet of our exclusive software, scroll all the way to the bottom, $27.2 billion. It's close. It's close, but it's still an X. Mm -hmm. All right, Sethi. Yes. Free cash flow is like the love of my life. This is the life, I love when you say it, the lifeblood of a company. It is the lifeblood of a company. Guys, at the end of the day, cash in and cash out. The more cash you have at the end of the day, the better the company is. You can do awesome stuff with it. Five things you can do with it. Uncle Seth, tell us the five things. You can buy back shares. You can make acquisitions. You can pay down debt. You can reinvest in yourself. Mm -hmm. And you can... Pay for... Pay for... The dividends. They dividends. dividends, yes. Well, they do have a nice dividend, Paul. They do have a nice dividend. So... Cash flow statement, cash from operations, less your capital expenditures. We added this line here to make it easy for you guys. Make the math easy. Five years ago, 4.59. Last year, 5.12. Barely a check mark, but a check mark nonetheless. And our final metric, mm -hmm. we take the five-year average free cash flow. We multiply that by 20. It's a starting point for a value. Obviously, we have to assess if the company is growing fast or slow. We'll do that next in our stock analyzer tool to figure out a more accurate number to pay. But 4.75 times 20 is $95 billion. Yes, the actual market cap is $92 billion. So it is barely a check mark, but it is. Wow, we had a lot of check marks there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was show it all eight? Show me eight pillar tab. Let's go to the eight pillars tab. The only one is the, oh, the, the debt. Yeah. The debt, that's right. So guys, does this mean you buy it? Not necessarily. Again, we every investment's a present value future cash flow. We don't know the future. So to determine the future based on reasonable assumptions. So our most popular item of our software now is a stock analyzer tool. Everyone loves it. It allows you to make assumptions about the future and tell you what you should pay for the company based on those assumptions. So we're going to do a 10-year analysis. We're going to do revenue growth. Remember, guys, revenue growth is so, such an important part of any analysis. Is the company growing? Is it dying? That's going to determine what multiple you pay and how much you pay for the company. Because even a dying company is worth something. All right, so guys, uh, a few weeks ago, we did this stock already. So let's pull up the assumptions and do the exact same assumptions before. It was right after the fall, and it's down a little bit since then. So, Seth, yeah, what last, are our revenue growth numbers? Yeah, revenue growth, we did only two last time. We did three and six on the high end. So let's do three, 4.5, and six. What about profit margin? We did eight and 10. So eight, nine, 10. Uh -huh. Free cash flow margin? We did seven and eight. Eight on seven, the high side. 7.58. PE? Uh, PE, we did... 13 and 15 on the high and low. So 13, 14, 15. Yep, same thing for price to free cash. And then, of course, 12.5% return, which is what we want if we're going to lay our necks on the line. So, guys, a lot of times, the whole point of Stock Analyzer Tool is to, is to use your assumptions and say, are we even in the ballpark yet? And then once you have realized you're in the ballpark, go do a lot more research and fine-tune those assumptions, right? You're always going to change your assumptions if you do a stock. We do hundreds and hundreds of stocks every month. So we're always going to change our assumptions. But right now, since it was such a recent video, we mimic the assumptions completely. So hit the analyze mm. button. What do we mm. got? Still expensive, guys. The low end, we have basically low twos. Middle range, we have mid, mid to high twos. And high range, we have low threes. Low to mid threes. Right now, the stock's at 331. So for me, I, I, I'm waiting for more to fall in the stock. Like, I want to buy it in the probably mid-two area or lower. I'll probably start building a position in mid-twos. When it gets to the high-twos, I'll probably start selling puts in the mid-twos if I want to own this Pardon me, if I want to own this company. So this is the way we use the stock analyzer tool in our software in order to determine prices to buy for companies. If this resonates with you, you can get this software and this stock analyzer tool right now. Paul, tell them how. We created the software because our subscribers, people who watch our videos said, hey, how do we analyze companies without waiting for you to make a video on it? So we said, great, let's make the software. We spent hundreds of thousands, created everything you see here. 
You get everything you see here. You get it all on your mobile phone. You get 30 years of financial data. You get access to Seth Mo and I. You get the whole eight pillar analysis, stock analyzer tool. You even get real estate calculator and everything on this main page that is coming soon. You see right here, everything coming soon here on the right. You even get the, uh, the portfolios. You can put up to 50 stocks in a portfolio. It'll tell you how they look all together. You get exclusive daily content. Mm -hmm. That's two or three videos a day from Seth Mo and I, only for our users who buy the software. But most importantly, you get access to our chat. You get all of this for only 90 cents per day. Guys, less than a cup of coffee, 90 cents a day, you get all of this. And the best part is you get this at the same price forever. Mm -hmm. Your price doesn't go up as our price goes up with it. You only get increases for inflation. You get all of this, 90 cents a day, two ways to sign up, everythingmoney.com or Patreon. The benefit of going directly to everythingmoney.com is we are not large enough yet to charge a sales tax, so you'll save that for the time being, 90 cents a day if you just increase your returns by one or 2% a year or decrease your losses by one or 2% a year, it could lead to hundreds of thousands, if not millions, 90 cents a day, go sign up now. And if you're looking to trade Lockheed Martin, Mo, what happened last time when it fell? What's going on with Lockheed Martin? You can join the Bin Ass Nation and Mo, and he'll show you how to trade it. If this sounds like gibberish, stay tuned. You'll follow a simple set of rules, and you can make money on these ups and downs. Go ahead, Mo. So this is dating back to just before COVID. So here was your high, and this was your low. So this is one of those 50% rule stocks, if I just draw a straight line, about 383.90. So basically, when this thing tries to rebound, people that lost all this money, they say, if I can just get half my money back, I'll, 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 I'll get out. They exit. Mass exodus causes a, a crash in price. Moves up again, same thing happens. So the thing that we want to look at here is when we get to that 380 number, there's going to be a resistance point there. So what can we do in the near term? Well, we had a recent gap. So that's something that's going to more likely than not fill. We don't know when, but it will. So I would just pay attention to this. Let this thing roll up on you and see if you can get up here and fill the gap. Now, before that happens, and if you don't want to do that long term, there's a better play in my opinion. It's come over here to a, a daily chart. After that fall happened a couple weeks ago, you are now able to this thing is just going to keep bouncing off these two major moving averages each time it happens. So it moves up, runs right into the 50 and the 25, falls back down. This is going to roll up again, run back into the 50 and the 25, about $350 a share and roll back down. So th let this thing just keep going like this and just keep making money on it over and over and over again. That is a great play here. This is a good stock as long as it's under the major moving averages. So if you want to learn these rules, Come and join me in the Bid and Ask Nation. You get access to the Trading 101 series, which gives you a video series of all the rules that you need. The Employed Trader series, which is six stocks that you can trade long and short with me. Lockheed Martin is actually one of them. Exclusive monthly seminars that I do on Saturdays, once a month, and the Bid and Ask community of 600 people, 900 people. Yes, and sir. That's our take on Lockheed Martin. We will keep you updated as always uh, in the future. If it gets into our sweet spot, we'll certainly let you know if we're buying. And uh, Paul, um, maybe we need some sort of, uh, <laughs> I swear, it's like, do we need some sort of war or something to, to get this thing churning in the right direction? Uh, maybe, or I don't some know. sort of bad news to get that stock price down where we want it. So Perhaps. That's probably it. Final thumbs up. We'll see you next video.